Well, maybe we can also set up um, for maybe some of your listeners who aren't as familiar with what type of testing this is. Yes, um, please. So we can kind of set up the expectation because I think a lot of people have heard of these like big, large neuropsych batteries mm-hmm. um, and they may have heard it from their school. They may have gotten quotes on the price that it often takes or the time and the wait list that it takes to get these types of tests. And while QB test is a form of a neuropsychological assessment, it mm-hmm. is not what you would typically think of as the neuropsych battery. So this is a 15 to 20 minute computerized task that clinicians um, will administer in their practice. So this has to be administered by a clinician and interpreted by a clinician. Um, and what it's doing, and it's boring by design. So I love how you say like this relatively mundane task. We always warn patients like this is boring, but it's trying to bore you. We're trying yes. to see what happens when you are understimulated. Can you maintain attention? Can you um, control your impulses throughout it? And what happens to your hyperactivity? throughout the test. Mm Because we know that oftentimes when the internal ADHD brain is understimulated inside, it will seek external stimulation. And so we try to quantify that in a way that isn't just, do they look like they're moving? Do they have a hard time staying in their seat? Um, So this task that these patients perform produce um, a really clean and clear report. And I do think that that's one of the things QB test specifically does well, is that it gives you not just the numbers, here's how you are compared to um, a female your age or a male your age, but what does it look 